So guys, I am here again. Um, hello, welcome back to another video. And today I'm actually showing you how to make cutscenes. This is the second time I've recorded this now because I recorded it and realized I was muted. I recorded the part of the sewers and realized, and then the recording deleted itself. So I'm literally about to lose my voice today. Um, if you go into Cutscenify, so I'll tell you how to do this. So you've got to import a rig or in, get a plugin. It's free. Um, it's called Cutscenify. And all you're going to do is type in a name for it and that's going to be test. And well, I'm gonna name it test. You don't have to name it test, okay? And this will pop up on your screen. I'm gonna grab something to help um to go through. I'm gonna do gallery this time. I just did station. Um, I made an entire cutscene on station, but I'm gonna do gallery here. Not that one. I won't do gallery. Then I'll do. Oh, what's a good one I can do then? Forest. Let's do forest. Why not forest? Uh, forest, 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 forest. Come on. Forest piggy. All right, forest piggy. And then we'll load up the forest map. There we go. And then once we're in here, all you're gonna have to do is just go into your cutscene. And you're just gonna click add point, okay? When you click add point, it will go from one point to another. So I'm gonna start at the spawn, which is right here, okay? This one's gonna go from one point to another, and this is a transition, okay? If you want it to be transition of five seconds, you do transition of five seconds. I'm probably gonna do four, and you do in is what I normally do, and then linear. I always do linear. And you're just going to add a cutscene point. So this way it's going to start, okay? And then you can get it to come up here like this. And then I'm going to get it to be add point. And then you're going to make the transition to be, I'm going to do four again. I'm going to add a cutscene point, okay? And then we can get it to come around here. And I'll get it add. And then I'm going to do five this time. I don't know why. And I'm going to go up here. Add point, And then I'll do five again. I'm not going to do as many as I just did a minute ago because that just absolutely burnt me out. I'm glad we do five again. Then we'll go into the cave. We'll do five again. And then we'll go here, we'll do two this time, just because I don't want to waste time. And then we'll come back out here, we'll do, whatever one comes first, two. And then we'll come down here, we'll do this one on five. Then we'll come over here, we'll do this one on five. Then we'll come over here, we'll do this one on five. Then we'll turn around and we'll do this one here on five, and then we'll get it to come up like this, and we'll get it to come straight up through here. We'll do this one on only about two. Then we'll add a cutscene point. It should go up. Then you can do another cutscene point. I'm going to do two again, or three this time even. Then it come up like this at a point. And then I'm going to do two again. And then I'll get it to come up here like this. Add another point, I'll get three. I'll get another one to come out here, and then I'll do three. I'll get one to face down like this, and then I'll do two. Now it's come straight down to here, and I'll do that in two seconds. I'll get to just turn around like this. I'll do this one in two seconds as well. Now it's come straight through this iron bar here now, so I'm going to get it to go here. A point, I'll get it to be two seconds long. And I'll get it to come up here. And then I'll do it end there, so it'll be another three seconds there. Okay, that is how many points there? 22 points. Okay, so what we're going to do then is you're going to then do, so once you're happy with it, um, I'm going to do insert here. I'm going to do insert, and then you're going to do a part touched okay this one i always do i always do part touched you insert a script and you don't need to do anything with the script just to use this part and you can put this part wherever you want i'm going to get mine and i'm going to put mine like i did for the last one i'll put it near the entrance of where we're going to do it so i'm going to do mine from here i'm going to stick my part here and if you want you can remove the um well that looks weird because the middle circle doesn't even move if you want you can put yours so that it is like um invisible in that i do or i did for the last one um and what you do is just make it as big as you want and then you just make it probably you close down toolbox and then make it property tra transparent too and you delete the decal on it because you don't need the decal and that will then be there so you can now step on that so if you do an extreme map and have this be the escape we can then do here play here and you'll see that it will go to every cutscene point and then i can sh i'll show you my 
one I did on Untold Story, which if you haven't watched it, I'd, make, I'd recommend to go watch it. It's really, really, really cool. I really, really like it. But here we go. So, once you go through here, you'll see that if you go into here and touch this part, which is right here, it'll take you straight into the cutscene, and it'll start taking you around on that. Like I said, I will put this link. I will put link to this in the description. I don't know if I've said it, but I definitely said it in the last video that I recorded. But that's not a video. Um, but I will leave the link in the description for this. Definitely, um, it's really, really helped me now. Um, I'm really glad I've, um, someone found it for me. His name is actually Mini Rixie. Thank you for finding it. Um, I guess it's kind of like a small shout out to you. Um, but yeah, he helped me found, find this cutscene maker, and it's actually really cool, and I love it. So. You'll see that it goes through here and it passes for everything, and then it'll keep going. Come on, it's going slow now. Come on, it's annoying when it goes through like just the very, very center of the tree. And it's going to go up here, go straight through the center of there, it's going to go straight through the center of there, and up to there. It's going to go straight down. It's going to go like that. It should go straight through these bar. Oh, because it goes straight through the center one, and then it went straight, goes straight to there, and then the cutscene ends. See, so you can do that. Then I think, can you exit? Can you do it again? Yeah, you can do it again. So there's a timeout on it, obviously, but then you can do it again. Um, it's pretty cool. I really, really, really like it. Um, it's really that simple to make. If you want to make another one, by the way, this is to make another one. You're going to go back into cutscene fight, and then you go here. How do how do you make a new one actually? You make a new one, yeah, exit, got Xenify, yeah. Now you go create new, and then we can do test two. I don't know, we'll do test two, yeah. And then all we're gonna do is just add a point, add a point, and then you can get it to go across the map like this, like this, and then you do add a point again. And then you do, if you wanna click on this, do switch to next point when done. And then as soon as it reaches this point, it will switch to the next point you place. So if you want the next point to be placed here, you can then do switch to next point when placed, and you can do it again, and then do a cutscene point, and then you can do it again, be in here or something like this, and then add a point, and then do it again, do it like that, and then add a point, and then you can do it at the top of here maybe, and then you can do add point, switch to next point again, and then add cutscene point, and then you can do one in the tent like this, and then we can do add a point. Switch to next point and then add a custom point, okay? And then you'll see that if we do that, then we go insert a part touched, insert the script, and then we can do that. And then we can place this one right here, and then we'll just go here, play here. And you'll see that this will work. So as soon as you touch it, it will do the first one, which is going to leap across the map, and then it will teleport between different parts of the map. It will do it pretty quickly because it's going to go from one part to another part. If you want it to do a delay, just do two parts on top of each other. I'll show you how to do it again in a minute. As soon as you touch this, it should start the... Is it going to start it? Is it going to start it? No. Alright, that's weird, isn't it? We better check this, though, just to make sure that it is doing the right bit. So, on the part touch cutscene, it should be going to... Cutscene name test 2. Player. Um, I don't know how we meant to do it, though. A bit weird. We can, we can maybe chuck it in the map somewhere, just so it's a little bit easier. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But anyway, once you touch this thing, hopefully it should teleport you there. Please work, please work, please work. Alright, oh, it's not working now. Anyway, it will, I'll show you what it does in my untold story. Um. Anyway, so once you've got that, I'm pleased to remember I'm muted. And, okay, good. Um... That should all be working then. Um, with the cutscene as well, if you want, you can. So I'm going to open up a new world now. Um, no. I'm also going to do that just so you can't see anything. Yeah, you can't see anything now. Now we'll take this one here. I'll wait for that to load up, then I can um, do that. There we go. And this is the one that I just. Well, this is the untold story that I created. If you haven't watched it, like I said, I'd really, really recommend it. I just imported loads and loads and loads and loads, loads of houses. And then I just went into each room, and then you'll see in each room is a different pose. And then I just went through with the cut scenes and added them all in. And I thought this one really weird there for a second, but no, it's not. Um, and you see here is where they're on the there where they're in the bunk beds. 
and then you have this one here where they're playing with the cars yep you see that's like that and then you got the bit there and you got all of them there's so many houses here and then over here is the one where we have the distorted memory part with the George and then yeah that's pretty much it um I'll show you what this does. See, so you, you see this part here. What I did is I just stepped on it. It should take you from each part, and I'll show you what the um, this one does. So if you go here and then you just step on this cutscene thing, it will then take you through this, and you'll see that he's already animated. And it will just zoom from one to the other. And as soon as it does that, it'll go to the next part, and you'll see it. Well, this is what it does. Okay, ready? Three, five, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, now, there you go. See, it's teleported straight to the part, and it'll zoom out, and it'll teleport you to the next part. You'll see it in a second. There's no music, obviously, because it's not the actual. It's not the actual one. The other one was actually edited with the music, and then added the black transitions between the, each one. Anyway, once that is actually done, that's pretty much it. That's all I've got to really show you. Um, if you have any questions or anything, um, feel free to comment. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need to show you. Cut scene if I uh, create new. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else I actually need to show you. I just messed that up, didn't I? Uh, I'm going to close file. Um, discard. I'm going to also hide that just so you can't see anything. I'm not sure there's anything else I need to show you. Um, this way is hidden, isn't it? Yeah, good, 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 good. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to show you. Oh, I can show you this one. I tried to re remake the untold story. It kind of kind of ain't good, I guess. I'll, I'll put some music with it as well. I'll tell you what, I'll put some music with it. Let me just go here. And we go that one. There you go. And I'll go view, toolbox. And I'll go untold, untold a story. The untold story, is that it? Yep, there we go. And then we can make that playing loop. Yep, playing, yep. And then we'll do the max distance. A thousand years, fine. And then inverse tab yeah. Okay, and then all you got to do is... I'll make a volume two as well. And all you got to do is do here. So I'll just make sure that I'm stepping right on it as soon as... It starts, so I'll just go play here. It's not got the bit with Willow, though. Willow's crouched down. It's going to take me straight into the cutscene. You'll see what I mean, really. So it'll start straight from here. And it starts, and that's probably very, very loud for you guys. You'll see that starts. Let me just turn it down a bit. I think that's really, 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 really loud. Let me turn it down. There we go. Is that better? Hopefully that's a little bit better. I'm going to turn it down as well, just so it's not picking it up on the mic. Let me just check that's not going louder than me. It's not okay, that's good. You'll see that it just like runs together and then you can even turn up the graphics as well and it looks a lot better. Turn up the graphics. Yeah, it looks way better on high graphics. Yeah, good song, good song. And then you see that it's like all created. It's a bit faster than the actual one. And you, can, you also kind of can create the actual credits for Piggy. The ending credits, they're pretty cool. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.